Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. So the sixth part of the Shane and Jeffrey, Jeffrey documentary just came out and I just watched it. It's the Conspiracy Collection reveal. Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. And I must say that it was a great episode. It was one of the longest when it's kind of started out with the merch and showing where it's housed and everything and they mentioned that it's sold out in 30 minutes and it did when i tried to buy it the only thing that was left were the slippers and they didn't have my size so i couldn't even get that so it's crazy how everything went so fast everybody's reacting very favorably towards the collection towards the merch everything and it's pretty amazing well it's good product also um also, love seeing Rich Lux in there, so he got a glimpse of the merch before he came out. He kept it very hush hush, which of course he did because he's their friend. I had also um, talked about like the shipping process, and, like how it's gonna be packaged and all of that, which I got to thinking like there's a lot of waste involved in shipping a product from you know the box it goes in and then the wrapping and then the other box and then it's just so much waste and like how conscious are these people who are making product any type of product about the waste they're generating even though you even if you go to Whataburger through the window like to take it with you to go through the drive through couldn't think of the word like it creates a lot of waste. Like everything we do creates a lot of waste. The good thing about this collection is that everything is so beautiful and it's such like an artistic piece that I feel like everybody's gonna wanna keep every part of it, you know? Just because it's so pretty. And I love the, like the mini controversy packaging, the conspiracy palette, like the box looks amazing it's so perfect it fits really well with blue blood and the true blood i always forget what the red one's called it's not is it true blood well anyway it fits really well like it, it almost makes sense that that's how it needed to look like they also went into about you know it showed all the shades the travel bags the side bag the makeup bag the conspiracy tracksuit so there's more accessories or merch that will be available once this launches november 1st and oh my god they said oh my god so many times i wonder if anybody counted how many times oh my god was said during this episode i would like to know how many times oh my god was said because every other third word was oh my god but i get it you know they were super excited i'd be super excited and super stoked i think the collection is really great i think it's gonna sell out so i'm gonna put my timer to make sure i get my hands on something I think it's gonna I mean there's no question it's gonna be a hit I mean it looks great the colors are well, how did Jeffrey say it once they're safe with a little bit of danger um I can't wait to have it in my hand so I hope I do get my hands on it I love the process of seeing the photo shoot because it gave us like glimpses all throughout, but we finally got to see more of it. That was super cool, the whole creative process behind that. Um, Jeffrey has a lot of creative people in his team and I think that's really cool, you know? And that's the way it should be. If you want a product to be successful, you have to have people who are talented and creative behind it. The only thing that bugs me is like when they go to Jeffrey's house, I'm like, Jeffrey, you are worth, I don't know how much, more than I will ever make in 10 lines, lifetimes. And your house is so cluttered, so messy. I'm like, can you just please pay someone to organize your house and make it like, to me, Jeffrey is such a boss, you know? And I just don't think his house reflects that about him. And maybe that's why he's getting a new house. Like, I don't know, I, I, I think it's to get, yeah, he needs to get rid of the house, get a beer going. Obviously, he needs it because there's clutter everywhere. And just, I don't know, I think he's such a boss, his house needs to reflect that. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking.
But overall, I love the episode. I can't wait for the palette to come out. I can't wait to buy it. And yeah, I can't wait to get it over this cold because it's Halloween on Thursday and I don't want to be sick. But anyway, tell me what you thought about this episode and are you as excited as I am to get that palette in my hands? I want to buy the Conspiracy, the Mini Controversy, the Gloss, and probably one of the mirrors. Well, let's see what I'm able to get my hands on because everything's going to sell out so fast. But that's it for now, guys. Uh, tell me what you thought on the comments. And until next time, adios y bye.